TB Talk, TB Talk. It's time to tune in to the TB Talk, TB Talk, TB Talk. It's time to tune in to the TV talk. Strike running the show. Matt edits the footage. Meet Gilbert and Weston give you sports to the fullest. Skylar, Nate, and Sierra bringing you all the news. Got Caesar Diaz giving movie reviews. John Russian is smart, a technological whiz. Blaine Edmondson gets info and tells you what it is. Collins behind the scene help make everything better. Nathan's working the camera and Caswell got the weather. Let's go. Hey Barney Springs, it's time for another episode of TP Talk. I'm Weston Vitt. And I'm Gilbert. Dustin Gilbert that is. We have a great show so you better start listening. As we all know, Christmas is coming up and you know what that means. Lights, presents, and family, but a lot of lights. That's right Weston. Let's take a look at the Christmas lighting. Those lights look good or what? They sure did, Weston. Now let's take a look at a few things that are going on around town that you might be interested in attending with Kyle Sears and Nathan Shaver. Welcome back all to another edition of A Look Around Town. Yes, that's right, Nathan. And we have added a few things this week because we won't be on the air. So what's first? Well, first we have something for those who are looking for a little walk. Take a walk around the Powell Gardens because they're having a Gardens by Candlelight on December 10th. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Sounds pretty fun. What's next? Next, we have the Blue Man Group on December 13th at the Kansas City Music Hall. Then there are all Missouri Mavericks will be in town at the Independence Event Center on the 9th and 16th. Then, for those college basketball fans, we have K-State taking on Alabama at the Sprint Center. Go Cats! Well, that's all fine and dandy, but the Rock Shock Jayhawks will be at the Sprint Center on December 19th against Davidson, and KU is going to crush them like they do always on the court. Oh, you guys still have to play K-State this season, and Davidson's going to win that game. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyways, back to the script. Next, we have the Trans-Siberian Orchestra in town at the Sprint Center on the 18th. That should be a good show. And finally, the Off Center Theater, there's a spectacular Christmas concert. Those should be some good times. Yes, that should. And if we don't see you before we leave for Christmas break, then have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from the Look Around Town people. Merry Christmas. I don't know about you, Weston, but I'd probably be root for KU this weekend. What about you? I would probably root for them as well. I also think the Tri-Siberian Orchestra sounds very nice. Maybe I'll go and check them out. There's also an after-school program that Mr. Fouquet is having, and here's our very own Cassie Holloway and Skylar Taylor with more about it. Can you tell me what you have been doing before and after school this week? I put sign-up sheets outside my door so the students can sign up for a 10-minute conference before or after school to discuss the comments that I left on their formal essays. These were uh, multi-page, five paragraph persuasive essays with works cited. Has this helped kids the way you thought it would? I think it really does because I'm able to sit down and really talk to them and say, okay, you didn't understand thesis statements, so let's work on that. And say to another student, your paragraph organization really needs some work, so let's start with a topic sentence and then present your supporting details. So it really allows me to target in on what each student needs individually. Last but not least, can you give us a quick overview on what you're trying to offer the students? Yeah, it's very much like a college experience. A lot of colleges have writing centers now. They've had them for about 10 years. And that's a place where you can go and just ask questions about a draft. It's not a proofreading center. It's not, a, it's not an editing center. It's a place for you to discuss your writing and your writing process. And I want students to have something like that before they step out of here and go into a four-year university. Thank you, ladies, and thank you, Mr. Fouquet. This program can help out many people in the school. Now it's time to take it over to Kazi for all the weather needs. Yeah, it's weather time. Let me give you my predictions. No inflictions, just highs and lows. Catch my drift to the slow of a beat. That's a melody. Here with the forecast, it's me, Kazi. Yeah.
That's right, it's me, Kazzy, and your five-day outlook looks very good. For tonight, we'll have the sun come out later in the day and a high of 36 with the winds facing north-northwest at five miles per hour. For tomorrow, we'll have sunny skies and a high of 44 and the low of 27 with the winds blowing south-southwest at 12 miles per hour. For Sunday, sunny as well with the reaching of a high of 47 and a low all the way down to the freezing marker with winds facing south-southwest at 12 miles per hour. For your last Monday of the semester, it will be mostly cloudy with your high reaching 45 and expecting that low of 28 with the winds blowing west at 7 miles per hour. Tuesday will be a high of 45 and a low of 28. And that's it for your TB Talk forecast. I am the one and only Stephen Caswell. Thanks, Kazzy. It sounds like it's going to be cold these next few days, so don't forget to bundle up, Bonner Springs. Now let's take a look at the quiz bowl with Kyle and Nathan. Last Saturday, Quiz Bowl had a meet. Let's see how Miss Woods thinks they did. Uh, for, uh, Saturday at Washburn University, we had a wonderful time. Uh, the questions were within our grasp. We had a good time. Uh, some people earned, oh, up to, I think, 14 points that day, and all of that helps them to go for lettering. We enjoy Washburn, and they're very, very nice to us there. Uh, they, for one thing, they gave us a deck of cards with Washburn on it. It's really nice. I really like Washburn whenever we go up there. It's friendly, it's a smaller college, smaller university. Uh, so I like the students to get to see it. But we sit in a room all by ourselves. It's a whole different thing. We're not competing against a different team. And if you get a toss-up question, then you get to uh, answer bonus questions. So the whole deal is getting the toss-up questions. And our students did very well, and we enjoyed ourselves. Thanks, Kyle and Nathan, and good job to all those Quiz Bowl attendants out there. Hey, Gilbert, do you know the score of the Tuesday's game against Blue Valley Southwest? Uh, I don't recall, but our very own Jordan Smallwood does. I'm Jordan Smallwood here with your weekend sports. Your Brave swim team took third place overall at last night's home swim meet beating Turner and Washington. The relay squad of Nate Mitchell, Ryan Cook, Blaine Edmondson, and Ethan Hook took third and set a new squad record. The same four guys continued to whittle away at their time in the 200 free relay, finishing second and hitting a new record time. Jacob Sofer, Cody Kreider, Tony Smith, and Thomas Hook took fifth in the 400 free relay. Last Friday, Bonner Springs basketball got underway with the home opener against Piper. Both the girls and boys' team came out with new looks, but their winning attitude had made no changes. Their aggressive play on both ends of the court allowed the girls' team to take a 36-26 victory. Senior Emily Wilson led the team in scoring with 12 points. Senior guard Yesenia Hernandez and junior Anna Deegan both added 7 points as well. The boys' basketball team kept the winning attitude as well. They fed off of the energy of the crowd. Senior guard B.J. Watson led the team in scoring, falling just one point shy for 30 ball. And yes, I did say... A 30 ball. The teams also traveled to Blue Valley Southwest Tuesday to take on the Timberwolves. The girls were victorious over the Lady Wolves winning 48 to 32. The boys fought hard in a very intense game. Unfortunately they fell short of victory losing by three points. The final score was 46 to 43. This has been Jordan Smallwood here with your Week in Sports. Back to you Dustin and Weston. Thanks Jordan for the scoop. Now for a segment that represents our school's fantastic students. Here is Sierra Sweeney. I'm here with Denny Presley, and she was just voted this week's student of the week. So, Denny, how does it feel to be student of the week? Well, it feels really good. All that study. And yeah. all the party. All right, and uh, I know you're a sophomore. How do you like high school so far? Uh, high school's pretty interesting, actually. First time in a school that has been yeah, that's good. Well, we're glad you're here as well, and you put a lot of hard work into your studying, so we're glad for that. You know, finals week is coming up. Are you excited? Oh, heck no. I hate finals. I hate finals, too. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll do perfectly fine. 
So we just wanted to recognize you and let you know that we are very aware of all the hard work that you do and how kind you are to your fellow classmates. <laughs> we just want to say thank you to that. Thanks. <laughs> all right, now one last thing to the fellow birds before you go. One last shout out. Thanks, you guys. It means a lot to recognize someone like me who's worked so hard this, all this time. Good thing. Okay, that's all. Thanks, here, and thanks, Denny, for being the great student that you are. Now it's time for a segment that everyone loves. What would that be, Gilbert? <laughs> it's Cesar Diaz with Movie Reviews. Welcome to another Movie Review. I'm Cesar Diaz, and let's get started. Three, two, one! That's the biggest night of my career. All these people have come from all over the world tonight just to be here. Don't just dump them. Float them in the wind. It should be magical. Tonight is the night. It only happens once a year, New Year's Eve. Okay. Someone hopeless can be romantic. Last year, I met a woman, and she was extraordinary. You're gonna meet her, aren't you? And the resolution can be a revelation. That looks like a long list. You better get on it. If you can make these resolutions come true by midnight, you get these. Four tickets to that party? You called the right guy. And when one night... <laughs> ...and change everything... It doesn't work. Call the super. He doesn't work either. Your noisemaker's ready. Let's do it. Is it New Year's Eve? Is it? Let's do it tonight. We've got to do something to get you out of your New Year's Eve funk. We could have our own party. You're going to kiss at midnight. Countdown begins. There's going to be more celebrities here than we have. I'm freaking out. Think you look hot. For this magical night, it's about getting another chance to do more, to give more, and to love more. Because that's what New Year's is all about. And a good party. Nothing beats New York on New Year's Eve. Mom, the phone's ringing! Noah, please get the phone! Mom, the phone's ringing, do you hear it? Noah has been desperately looking for a job high and low. Now he's been forced to take drastic measures. Babysitting. This is Slater, Blythe, and Rodrigo. My real babysitter, Nancy. She does what I want her to do. I'm not a real babysitter. <gasps> I'm more of a sit on the couch, and do whatever I say or I'll kill you type of babysitter. <laughs> and you sprayed perfume in my mouth. I hate you. I'll destroy you. Oh! You did it again. I'm at a party. Do you want to come? Yeah, maybe I, I could I could work something out. Kids, fasten your seatbelts. Sky <laughs> filling fools. Fools, what you want? What are you doing in here? I throw the ball. Oh, that's very cute. <laughs> Slater. That was not me. It was me. Oh! Come on! <laughs> you know this ain't no place for no kids. My name's Noah Jaybird. Noah Jaybird. And thanks, Caesar. And you stay classy, Barn Springs, and from all of us at TP Talk. Happy holidays!